happy Saturday. It's Saturday, December 30th. I'm about to head out to go to Brooklyn with Alexis. We're going to get some lunch and then go to this furniture shop that she wanted to go to. And it's nice to take a little bit of a break from packing. Um, my apartment is feeling very empty. I took everything off of my coffee table and started packing up a bunch of things. Still a long way to go, but we're making some progress. I'm gonna pack later tonight and tomorrow too. Usually I start packing like a day or two before I have to move, but I started much earlier this time and it feels really weird. But anyway, that is the plan for the day and I'll take you along with me. not even 8 p.m. I had a burger and a glass of wine, read my book. I'm gonna go home and finish the rest, but I'm heading home right now and I could not be happier to be spending New Year's Eve just alone in my apartment. My camera's dead, so I'm filming on my phone for now, but it's like 11 o'clock on New Year's Eve. I am just sitting here finishing up my book, oh, I actually only have like 10 pages left to go. I was just scrolling on TikTok and I just see so many people making videos about like how they feel so much pressure to like go out and have something to do and like have the best night ever on New Year's Eve. And it seems that like everyone feels this way, but people are still just like going out because that's what they think that they have to do. And like, it is okay to stay home and do nothing if you don't wanna go out. like. I went out to dinner by myself, had one glass of wine, and then I met up with my sister. Um, we went to a wine bar. I didn't even get another drink. And then I went home. And it's like, you don't have to do anything that you don't want to do. I just like, I need to stress that. Like, it is okay to stay in. I went out last year and it was actually so much fun. And I ended up staying out until four o'clock in the morning. But then I was violently hung over the next day and like, slept the entire day away and I just like don't need to start my year off like that. I don't want to waste any more days being hungover. If you didn't go out on New Year's Eve, don't feel bad. It's like the best thing ever, staying in and doing nothing. Hello, it is my last day in this apartment and I could not be happier to get out of here. Also, I just feel like I'm living in a mess with all of my boxes and just stuff everywhere i'm ready to go i'm so excited i'm gonna finish up packing the rest of my stuff today and then i move tomorrow morning my move is scheduled between 9 and 11 so hopefully they come on the earlier side so that i can have the rest of the day to unpack everything my dad is gonna come in and help me which is really nice and I'm just so excited to move into a new space. I packed with my sister all day. She helped me so much. And this is what we have going so far. There's just stuff everywhere. It's like freaking me out, but this is what I'm up to now. You know, I usually sit on my floor and eat anyway, but it really feels like I'm moving, eating takeout on the floor. I got some miso soup edamame and a spicy tuna roll and a salmon avocado roll and a diet coke because i haven't had a diet coke in a really long time so i felt like i deserved this i'm so exhausted and i just i can't wait to be done moving everything is just a mess like i literally left my apartment and went to equinox to shower because there's just so much shit everywhere that i didn't even want to shower in my own shower i just like would not feel clean so i went to equinox <laughs> i was like in and out in like 20 minutes they were probably like what the fuck but anyway i'm gonna enjoy this and find something to watch on tv it is moving day and i actually don't think that i slept and normally i would not have any makeup on for this kind of thing but i have to film for tiktok so Gotta look a little bit 
presentable. They're supposed to be here between 9 and 11 and I don't know exactly when they'll get here but I'll just be here waiting. I'm maybe gonna go out and grab some coffee and I have to take out cash to tip them and that's it. I'm ready to go. <laughs> my new apartment it's about 8 30 ish right now um i look <laughs> so tired because i am i am so exhausted it's actually almost nine o'clock i'm gonna try to put away most of my clothes and then just deal with the rest tomorrow because i cannot be bothered I'm just way too tired. I went up and down the stairs 10 million times. Even though I had movers, like, there's just always random things that you have to get that they're, like, anyway. This is what we are working with at the moment. It's just such a mess. And if you're wondering what that really loud sound is, my heat is just really loud. Honestly, not that bad. It's New York City. Um, but I have my mirror on this wall, which I really, really like. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I think I did. Um, I moved into a building that my building management owns. So it's pretty much the same as my other apartment. We have the fireplace. I have my book stack in there. Um, so this space is the same and then I have a kitchen, a nice open kitchen, and then my bedroom is back there, so. day I had a gas leak in my apartment which is quite literally one of my biggest fears my sister came over and she kind of smelled it too and I was like yeah I think I'm just gonna call Con Ed called Con Ed they came over within literally five minutes um, and they were like yep it's a gas leak um, they turned the gas off so it's like absolutely fine to stay here but literally one of my biggest fears so conquered that today that was fun hello it is sunday january 7th uh, i got back to my apartment this morning i went to my parents house because i was just like too anxious to stay here i slept at my sister's apartment thursday night thursday night and then got back on friday and i just like did not feel comfortable staying here i'm just like such an anxious person and i was like i cannot stay here by myself um so i went home to my parents and stayed there for the weekend and then came back this morning my dad drove me back and i had him just like come up and check everything out and the gas is off um which i knew because con ed came and turned it off but i was just still kind of freaked out i'm just waiting to hear back about when um they're gonna schedule the delivery for my new new stove to be installed so i feel like once i have a brand new stove i will feel much better but anyway i've made a lot of progress and i want to show you i got my tv hung up i got my tv mounted i didn't want to put it on here because i just felt like it would take up the entire space and just be like the focal point and i just didn't want that in this apartment so i hung it up over here it comes out and like rotates if i need to move it but i really only sit on the right side of my couch so i can see perfectly and then if i'm in the kitchen i can tilt it if i want to watch tv while i'm like cooking or something so mounted that there and then i just need to figure out what to do with those two boxes i don't have enough room in my bathroom for them and that's just stuff that i had in like my extra linen closet so we're figuring that out i get like a nice media stand 
for storage and just to like have under my TV and then I need to get wire covers because there's no outlet over here. It's all the way over there, which is really stupid. This is the fireplace setup. I now have room for three stacks of books, which I love. Very excited about that. Um, I just have a picture over there and then my records, which I no longer have a record player, but we'll figure that out. I don't know what I'm doing with this corner yet. I want to get maybe like a chair and have like a little reading corner or something. I need to hang up my hanging plant. I just don't know where I want to put it yet. The coffee table situation, which is the usual. And then I hung up my Italy prints above my couch. I got this picture hung up. And then I also put this mirror over here in the entryway. sleeping in this apartment because of the whole gas leak situation I was too scared to sleep here I went to bed around midnight I woke up at 4 30 was up until 5 30 and then fell back asleep until like 8 15 so I think I just need to get used to sleeping here like last night I a little a little Mendy B and FaceTime my mom and I was just like I just want to feel comfortable in this apartment and I'm not there yet. It's just like the weirdest feeling because I wanted this so badly. I wanted to move. I wanted to get out of my old apartment, but I guess I didn't realize how like just comfortable I felt there. And obviously moving to a new space is different and you have to get used to it. When I moved into my last apartment, I was in therapy and I was just like telling my therapist that like I wasn't sleeping very well and I was just like, super tired and super out of it and she was like well yeah you just like moved apartments that's like a really big change um so everything will be fine i'm gonna get used to sleeping here and i think once i get a new stove i'll have like just peace of mind everything will be fine i think i'm gonna end the vlog here because i have absolutely nothing planned today and hopefully in my next video i'll have some more apartment updates for you that's it for now thank you so much for being here and i'll see you in my next video